And tonight, the search is on for the driver who hit a man and then left his lifeless body in the street. Detectives need your help tonight finding the car in this blurry video. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live tonight with brand new information just in from police. Maricela. Detectives just released the name of the man who was killed. His name is Jason Anthony Daniels. He would have been 39 today. Now detectives did find him over the weekend near these railroad tracks. A few seconds of a car driving in the view of a surveillance camera may be the key in solving a hit and run case. Tampa police detectives want to find this car because it was driving on East Columbus Drive Saturday around 2 a.m. near the same place where someone hit a man and left him to die. That's real stupid when somebody gets hit, you're supposed to stop him and see what's, what's the problem is. People who work nearby are upset the driver did not stop. A DPD sergeant found the 38 year old in the middle of the road near these railroad tracks. They also found some of his belongings, including a skateboard. But I mean, he don't make the right decision to just keep going. Now he got no chance. If anyone has any information about the car captured on surveillance video or any details about this investigation, they need to call TPD or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News. All right, Maricela, thank you. And now to another unsolved hit and run crash tonight and the growing reward for anyone who can help. An anonymous donor is now putting up a $2,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the driver. That person hit... 70 year old Barry Berlin as he rode his bicycle in Davenport earlier this month. Now Crime Stoppers is asking anyone with information to please come forward and check this out. The heavy storm that you probably heard early this morning or overnight leaving this barge here stuck on a St. Petersburg beach. Crews say that they can't do anything about it until the wind and waves calm down. And this is actually damage from the Palmetto area, but let's bring in Jason Adams right now because there is a barge actually behind you there yeah. right now, Jason. And you know, this, this weather was pretty powerful to say the least mm -hmm. today. And I spoke to the National Weather Service this afternoon and they were saying that it was not a tornado. There have been some reports out there that it was a tornado. It was straight line winds caused by a microburst and that produced 60 to 65 mile per hour wind gusts as it moved through Palmetto, peeling some of the awnings back off of some of these mobile homes and also, of course, ripping some of the roofs off as well. So it goes to show you that you don't need a tornado to get significant damage out there. This just caused by the winds and some of those strong thunderstorms. And I'm so happy to say that for those of you here in Palmetto and in Manatee County, we're not seeing any rain out there as your cleanup is continuing. Where we are seeing the rain, uh, rain at right now is that actually offshore here of Citrus County. It's moving onshore again after we've already had several waves of rain move through earlier today for Crystal River, Hernando, Homosassa. You've got more just moving now onshore. So this is where we're seeing the active weather currently thankfully not severe no 60 65 mile per hour winds in it that is the good news for those of you here through citrus county now as we look at temperatures lower 80s where the rain's been upper 80s to near 90 where you have not seen the rain and unfortunately there is more rain in the forecast for the overnight hours again i'm expecting some thunderstorms to get going here after 10 p.m those will move from the gulf on shore it could wake you up again during the overnight hours, and we have more rain to talk about for tomorrow, too. That's coming up in Florida's most accurate forecast ahead. Paul. Summertime never disappoints, Jason. Thank you. Well, now to the very latest on the duck boat tragedy. Today, crews pulling the vessel out of the water. This is time-lapse video here showing this gruesome three hour long process playing out in Missouri today. 17 of the 31 people on board that boat died. People who live in this lake community, they came out to watch that that boat uh, sitting 80 feet underwater for the last three days. I think curiosity also gets everybody out. You know, um, I think you want to actually see if you can figure out why it went down. Investigators will now try to answer the questions about the weather and the, whether that was a factor and everyone says that it was obviously also life jackets and the boat itself and the actions of the crew on that boat as well. New tonight, more than 30 malnourished birds pulled from this home. You see the photo here showing the conditions inside. Tonight, Sarasota deputies arresting Elaine Wells. They say that the birds did not have access to food or water. That home covered in waste and roaches. Wells will be in court later this week.